guys, I'm here to do another review for you. The next review I'm going to do is on a really uh, uh, different movie. Very different from stuff that you see now. It's called The Blair Witch Project. Now, during Halloween, you know, basically every grocery store, I mean, the store that we go to is Meyer. They, uh, they have, you know, all their scary movies out. And they, this is one of the selections that they had out. And I remember my dad talking about it a couple of times. And my grandpa had this on tape. And uh, I decided to buy it. It was only like 10 bucks. I remember taking it home. And I there was something else that I bought, and I watched that first before I watched this, because this didn't seem interesting. The next day I watched this, and this movie absolutely terrified me. And again, as I said in previous videos, it takes a lot to scare me. I mean, to this day, this movie still kind of terrifies me. Um, it's made in the style Paranormal Activity was made with handheld cameras, only this seems a little bit more realistic because this is what 94 and uh like the foot the, the film looks a little grainy but uh it's made by mexicans which is a very weird thing and uh the movie is about heather donahue and, and there's two other dudes. I can't remember. One of them is named Josh. I can't remember the other dude's name. But they go to Blair or Burkittsville, Maryland to do a, do a college documentary on the Blair Witch. So they end up going into the woods and they're filming like a behind the scenes thing of their documentary, filming footage of uh, their trip. And like at night, they start hearing like footsteps and people like voices and like uh I'm not gonna give away it's something that happens like in the middle of the movie but this is scary as hell um I would if you thought paranormal activity was stupid which I now think it's stupid um this will really this really terrified me um it's very creepy. You don't actually, it's like paranormal activity. You don't see any ghosts. Well, you do see a shadow a couple of times in paranormal activity. But you don't see anything in this movie. No uh, apparitions, no shadows. You just hear stuff. And then, or maybe sometimes you won't even hear anything. And you'll just hear, like, their reaction to something. Um, the DVD um, is okay. I want to get the Blu-ray, because apparently on the Blu-ray there's alternate endings. The ending of this movie, if you've seen it, total garbage. I hate the ending of this movie, because it doesn't... I like endings where it explains... What happens? I mean, movies like The Shining or uh, 2001 don't have endings like that. But the movie was just so good, it didn't really care about the ending. The Shining, yeah, you knew what happened to Jackie died. But the ending was kind of like a mystery or telling you that Jack has been in the hotel before. 2001, I can't even explain the ending. That movie is still a mystery to me to this day. But, um, it's very creepy. I would not recommend watching this if you have a weak heart or if you're a pussy when it comes to scary movies. Um, it's really, um, different from any horror movie that you'll probably ever see. Um, it's 
one of those movies where uh, they uh it's based on a true story and uh, the there's bonus features in this movie of like there's a documentary about the three college students that went to make the documentary and they have interviews from their friends and from their teachers and family but it's not a true story um it's all made up and the this is like has like a creepy dvd menu i mean the dvd menu even kind of creeps me out this movie is just so weird um definitely one of the scariest movies i've ever seen um, I really, I really would recommend this if you like have friends over, and you want something creepy to watch. I mean, it gets kind of boring at the beginning, but when you get like to the middle, to the end of the movie, total, total horror. Um, six out of five. A great movie. Cannot recommend this more. Um, there is a sequel called like Blair Witch Two. Which is, it's not made in the same style as this movie is. Blair Witch 2 is about these people that go back to where the original movie was filmed. And they just kind of explore what happened there. I've never seen it, but I heard it's terrible. And I heard there's even a Blair Witch 3 that's going to come out in a couple years. But usually if they predict a movie that's going to come out in a couple years, I doubt it's going to come out. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of how it works. They predicted Spider-Man 4 in, like, 2014. And they predicted that in, like, 2010. The, and that never happened. But check out this movie. Um, I don't know if you can see on the back. They have, this is, they see this figure. It, it's like a, something that a native, or so, something that someone made out of, like, straw. And there's a scene in the movie where they find a whole bunch of those things hanging from trees. It's just really creepy. This movie is really creepy and will definitely make you think twice of going camping, I guarantee it. But check out this movie. Great horror movie. Um, don't listen to what anyone says about it until you've seen this movie. If Until after you see it, if you think it's garbage, okay. But don't listen to anyone's opinions until after you've seen this movie. Highly recommend this to any horror fan if you have not seen it already.